What's up guys, welcome back to the pre-release adventure. So, one of the bugs uh, of 1.8 is un unfortunately you can't smell anything or you'll crash your world and I'm probably, I'm going to do that right now if I don't stop this. So, I can't get my iron to, to smell, so what I've done is, uh, well first of all you can see here I've made a bunch of steak. That was actually through in inventory editor. Um, the reason I've done that is because I think food is a bit more kind of something I need to worry about a bit more often than iron. So I'm going to ask you now if you don't mind if I, basically if I just take 45 iron out of my inventory and then in inventory editor add 45 ingots. I know most people won't actually care really, no, no one really minds. Um, the, are these like infinite, infinitely stackable? Oh my god that's awesome. I made a bunch of six stacks because I thought Oh, that's, that's great. I didn't realise that. So anyway, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll take 45 iron blocks out of my inventory and in place, put 45 ingots. I, like I said, I know most people won't mind. Chances... Oh, my game just crashed. Okay, that's that's frustrating. What I'm going to do is actually just delete, or not delete, take this thing away. It's obviously causing problems. Get that out of the way, so we'll leave that. You know, whatever. Um, yeah, so that, that's causing prob problems, which isn't really useful to us. So I think I'm going to go out and do a little bit more exploring, actually. Let me double check that I have everything I want and, and get rid of things I don't want to take with me. Cobblestone, yada, yada, yada. Now chicken, yeah, people also, I may, I may do this with chicken. I may take out the 10 chicken and put in 10 cooked chicken because you can't actually, like I said, I can't do anything now with the furnaces. That's become a really big problem. So, yeah, I think I've got everything I need to go and do a little bit of exploring. I feel like you can move through water much quicker, which is really cool. Awesome feature. Oh, oh awesome, we got a sunrise. So I'm going to go this way. I, I honestly can't remember now what direction I came in. I'm not very observant over long periods of time, so... Yeah. Let's head this way though. Ultimately I want to find an, a village but it's not it's not a huge priority. I just want to experience, you know, some of this Minecrafty goodness. So I'm not too fussed about finding a village, but we will find one in good time. Uh does this Oh wow, look it tells you your seed. Okay. Hmm. Oh god, I got a fright there. What was I going to say there? Yeah, I, I need to remember what direction I'm heading in. Unless, well, I could see my tower, I guess, from here. Or maybe not, actually. Yeah, I can't even see my tower whatsoever now. There it is. Huzzah! Yeah, I'm just going to head around. Also, I do apologise for the previous few videos where I kind of sounded either sa kind of sad or depressed or sleepy. It was um, a combination of being tired and it just being very, very late. Uh, I couldn't, I, well, I, typically I, I can't record past, say, 11pm, so I just tend not to, you know, just completely stop recording and just upload whatever I have if I feel like uploading. But because 1.8 was released, or at least the pre-release release was put out late last night, uh, I tried to get as much done as I could in a little time. Which kind of explained the whole talking quiet and uploading really short videos, which I'm going to continue to do just for ease right now. It's going to remain the same, but that's that explains that. It's not because I was upset or anything. I was I was actually like kind of upset that I I didn't get to to show my enthusiasm for 1.8 being released because it is freaking awesome, and like I said, it's it's just oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a tree. Damn it. Um, like I expected, it's just, you know, a whole breath of fresh air into the world. And I'm really looking forward to getting back into it. And um, I'm going to say now, when World of Minecraft returns for when the full 1.8 is released, I'm going to take it slow. I'm not going to rush into anything. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to try and get everything at once. I'm going to take that time to explore. Uh, and I'm not sure how I want to do the episodes. Actually, I'm starting to like... Um, also, I want to apologise, this video is going to be a lot of walking around. I'm trying to, you know, maybe find something cool to do. Uh, what was I saying there? 
Oh, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Um, oh yeah, I'm completely falling in love with this idea of cutting videos into, you know... Wow, look at the grass fading. Look, it's fading from one biome into another. That's nice. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's this. We can go down here and have a look. I'm falling in love with this idea of cutting videos from, you know, maybe playing like an hour or two hours or even sometimes three hours of a game and then cutting it into parts, you know, the the length of these parts, you know, whatever is arbitrary, you know, it could be 10 minutes or 15 or 20. Look at all these ores, oh my god. This is freaking abundant. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so recording maybe like large sessions of gameplay in one sitting and then going into Sony Vegas and just setting up a batch render to render out maybe like 20 parts or something like that. Or, or for example, if I record an hour of gameplay from something, it'll, for example in Spore, if I record an hour of Spore, then I go into Sony Vegas and I, say, I can set up a batch render to basically make 6 10 minute videos from that hour of gameplay. And it's so easy to do, like it's literally a few clicks of a button and it's off and I can just leave it to do its own thing. I'm really liking that idea, but I, I don't know if I want to do it for Minecraft. I kind of do, I kind of don't. And the majority of people that have success with it are the likes of, you know, um, SSO PKC, SSO H PKC, uh, you know, Paragon Nova, all these, are uh, like Spoonerism, all these guys seem to to have success. Like, all those guys, the creatures, in fact, any of the creatures, you know, could try and all that as well, they all have a success doing that. And I've, I figure it might work for me. Uh, it has worked for Spore, you know, I do get the odd, odd complaint of people wanting longer videos, but it's never really, and it doesn't seem to bother people too much, and that um, I'm glad for, so I'm thinking I may stick to that concept. I don't know if I want to do it for World of Minecraft, though, that's the thing, like, World of Minecraft was always about being a really well-established Minecraft series. So, what I'm actually thinking of doing, um, unless I decide to just go, you know, the cut route, and do 10 minute segments or 15 minute segments or whatever. Uh, unless I decide to do that then I'm just probably going to do it as typical, you know, 20-25 minute episodes or maybe shorter now that school is in session and then on weekends I'll make some longer videos. I don't know. I really don't know and that it's, it's been bugging me because and I know I'm going to get those comments that people say, Sneaky, do what you want, we all love you, we, all, we don't really care, blah blah blah, I just want to see you. I know, I understand that. And I, pl I appreciate that, but you have to understand from my perspective as the creator, I want to, I don't know, I just, I want things to work well and I, I don't just want to bank all of my success off of trusting that people are going to enjoy my content. I, I understand, or I'm well aware you guys enjoy what I put out and that's why I haven't quit doing this, you know, I, I'm still doing it because I enjoy that. Well, I've walked around doing absolutely nothing. I do apologise for that, but such is Minecraft. <laughs> 